Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. Deadlock Resurrection Max Season 2, the whole Battlestar Galactica Deadlock campaign. Now, who would have thought we'd been here at Season 2? There's lots of functionality updates being brought in, but first off the bat, and given the press release that I've been given by Slytherin Games and Brack Lab, I thought we'd have a quick look at the story setting FMV sequence that is put right at the beginning of the campaign. I hope you enjoy it. Lots of pointers in here on what's coming next. Previously on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Lachesis is rerouting all of its forces to Helios Alpha. PyCon is already at breaking point, and Geminon was ready to roll over the moment when Nutu signed the treaty. The Cobal Alliance has ratified the ceasefire with Cylon Command. The peoples of Helios Gamma, Delta, and Beta will see no more violence from today. It was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one-third of the colonies, and for what? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work, but you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow, and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. Galactica, repeat. I didn't hear that right. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Colonial Fleet, this is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus Fleet Group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial Fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. Protect your families. Protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. There's not much you can do about a knife in the back. Struggle, you make it worse. Leave it, and you'll bleed out. Best case scenario, someone takes the knife out and helps you back up. Except for you're still bleeding. And now you got another son bitch running around with a knife. The ceasefire lasted the full year that Lachis has agreed to. No longer, no less. The exact minute the agreement expired, Cylon fleets attacked the Cobal Alliance colonies. We fought back where we could. Had some hard years grounded before we got Colonial Fleet back in the air. Then we went and retrieved Galactica. Pulled her right out of the water where we left her, and spent the last year building her back up. Colonial Fleet is now a branch of the Ministry of Defense, reformed by the people who've been fighting the ground war since Caprica City was first bombarded. Jubal Sarkis leads the Fleet Admiralty, and he's made sure the Quorum knows its place this time around. Without Colonial Fleet, there is no war, no resistance, and no freedom. Galactica has been reinstated to the head of BSG-75, under my command. We are, once again, one of many in the shield against the Cylon. We have a second chance, and bear the full weight of the Twelve Colonies. From today, we do not lose to the Toasters. What a fantastic FMV story setting sequence. You saw what happened at the end of season one with the disbandment of the colonial fleet, Admiral Kane effectively falling on her sword. Then you've got a little bit of story about what happened next as effectively what happened just after the ceasefire was over, not a minute, not a second later. The Cylons were back in, back on the hammer, attacking the colonials any which way they can. 
then you get the story about how Galactica was then reborn, um, brought back from the depths of the Phoebean Ocean on Caprica, rebuilt, made into a, a, the Jupiter 2 model of Jupiter class battle stars. All good stuff. If you haven't done so, click like and subscribe and hit that notification icon because a like and a notification goes a long way on YouTube these days. Check back on the channel for more videos of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. And hey, so say we all.